What a day we had today with a pretty heavy reversal from highs. So we're going to talk about that today in the Thursday market wrap up for the 27th of July, 2023. Just FYI, I am taking next week off. So I'm going to do something on Friday on the weekend and then pretty much a ghost town until the next Friday and then I'll get back into it. So if you want more content while I'm away, I may sneak in a little chart scan or two uh, from my phone, post those things to Twitter or threads or post something on YouTube or something like that. I'm just Michael Noss, CMT everywhere, so you can find me there. If not, if you're on the channel or you're getting this via email, then there'll just be a week where there'll be nothing during the week, but then on Friday I will do a little wrap up. Uh, and if you're not on the email list, go to statsedgetrading.com, get the email list. You actually get access to my watch list where you can just copy and paste that into trade ideas right there. So without further ado, what the hell happened today? What a wild day. So going to take a start with Bitcoin as we always do. Not really much correlation with Bitcoin uh, to the underlying indexes. And I'll show you in the queues what really happened in a minute. But, you know, I'm short, just full disclosure from around here, uh, around this area here. After we had the breakdown, we popped up a little bit. And now it looks like we may be coiling over or starting to uh, starting to reverse here. So, um, you know, again, nothing crazy to, uh, to talk about in Bitcoin. We're still kind of chopping inside here. But what is interesting to me on Bitcoin is how we didn't really mirror the overall markets. Now, again, I do all of these, I do the foreign currencies in the currency section right before we go to, um, sorry, the foreign market markets in the currency section before I go to the US markets, just because I trade these in the same prop firm account as I do Forex. So I've got a little bit of short go going on here on the FTSE, FTSE 100. Just big push up into this area right here, acting as resistance so far and starting to kind of coil over and push lower on this guy. The only other thing I wanted to talk about, uh, let's do the pound because that's one that I actually traded. But I talked about the pound kind of bouncing off this level right here and then pushing higher in through here for a couple days. But this is why we always have stops. So I was able to actually stop myself out for a profit when we had this big reversal as the US dollar kind of fell pretty dramatically today. Now what I'm going to look for is if we can kind of bounce now that we have this massive kind of bearish engulfing candle, if we get any kind of a bounce tomorrow, I'll be zooming into a lower time frame to see if I can get a reversal off of that. Because you know, we had this big push up and then we had a sell off and a bounce and then that bounce just got slapped down. So now let's get into the equity markets and take a look at kind of what's happening here. So if we take a look starting at the queues, this is kind of where the real damage was today. So this is one of those things where if all you do is, you know, you watch CNBC or the business news or whatever, though you go, oh, the market was down 0.13 today. But what really happened is we had this really big gap up and then just sold off dramatically, making for a pretty ugly candle here. So I'm going to zoom in uh, just a little bit. We had a pretty ugly candle on the queues. We gapped over, you know, maybe four or five days worth of action and then just rejected that entirely and did so on uh, 1.5, so 150% normal volume. We go over to the SPY here, you can see the same kind of thing happened where we had this consolidation for a long time, we had a gap up and then a sell off. So the reason why I think this is interesting is that this is kind of the setup of what would be a bull trap, right? And a bull trap would basically be a big push up and then you get everybody a big gap up through a level and you get all the bulls piling in saying, we're finally breaking out of this level. And if that reverses dramatically, then you have all those bulls trapped in those long positions and it can cause for a little bit of sell-off. But what I want to talk about and what probably a lot of places won't, the fear-mongering places out there, is I want you to keep in mind the overall trend here, right? The, the overriding trend of the market is bullish, right? You know, we are have been for a very long time, and I've talked about ever since we broke 420, I've been in very, very, very bullish mode, and I've been buying dips, and I've been, you know, very long, we'll just say everything. 
as soon as we kind of broke out of this 420 level, this triangle right here. Now, you know, could we pull back pretty dramatically? Yeah, but it would be healthy. You know, it'd be healthy if we pulled back into this 445-ish area. It would even be healthy if we pulled back into this 435, if we, you know, had a little bit of a pullback here. All of this would be normal, healthy market behavior, especially if we pulled back into these prior highs and then bounce, that would be incredibly healthy. So basically, yes, this candle was ugly. Yes, that ugly candle could lead to some lower action over the next few days. But I don't think that that's, you know, the people who are going to be running around shouting that that was the end of the bull market. I really don't think it was that right. I think it's, you know, we had a big gap up. There was probably some profit taking coming on in there from people who had been long for a long period of time. They grabbed those profits and they took them. That caused a little bit of a sell off. Maybe we'll push down for another couple of days. But until we get some sort of reversal of the trend, you know, for a long time, it's been lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, or sorry, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. So until there's some sort of reversal of this trend, you know, I'm going to continue to trade bullish until something tells me otherwise. Uh, only thing that's else that stood out in the kind of overall market when I was doing my index e scans is UNG again. Uh, some relative strength in UNG, even though, right, obviously on a percentage basis, it was much lower. But it's been putting in this rounded bottom, actually rallied into the close as opposed to everything else that fell off a little bit. That's very, very interesting to me here. So this kind of round of bottom that's happening, the rally that happened into the close gets for a really, really interesting, um, really interesting day when it comes to the overall trade. So uh, individual names didn't take anything from the long side. Um, right, we have RNG, this thing's still doing amazing. I've got a stop under here. We got in this at 33 and it went up to 43, an amazing trade. Uh, only added two to the list today. Again, if you want the full list, just go to the email um, or go to statsatrading.com, sign up for the email list. You, you know, you'll have the screenshots of everything. And then also if you have trade ideas, you can copy and paste these and you'll have these little notes that are with them. Uh, so two relative strength plays. And the reason I did that is one massive and easy scan that I can do right now and today with the market selling off and near, you know, five or six day lows, I can just look for what didn't sell off and is, is hanging out near, near highs. And uh, two came up, this legend biotech company came up and is doing pretty well. Nice, just base near highs on the weekly chart. You can see it's, you know, again, looking great. On this weekly chart, a nice uptrend from the 40s into near the 80s. Uh, it's kind of what you're interested in. Sorry, into the 20s, nearly into the 80s, and didn't care about the market selling off, right? The other one is this JELD, which is a um, wood wood window and door manufacturing. Exciting, exciting stocks. But same kind of thing, right? Market sold off. This one held pretty well. It's putting in this kind of ascending triangle look right at 18 bucks. If it can get through that, that's interesting to me. So over 18, things could uh, things could get going there. So again, ugly candle. I don't think it's something to super freak out about. So that's my thoughts on the market. You know, again, if you want access to more of this, go to statsatrading.com. Whatever you're seeing this on, if you want to give it a like or a retweet or whatever, that helps me out with the algorithms. There will be a video tomorrow to kind of wrap up the week and then off for a week and talk to you guys after that.